So talk to me a little bit about a seat at the revolution. A seat of the revolution? At the revolution. A seat of a revolution? At, a seat. S-E-A-T. A seat? Is that a Spanish word? Yes. Uh, the 140 conf rep, uh, gives people a seat at the revolution. A seat. What is a seat? To a seat. To a seat to leave. To be part of. To sit down next to. To be, to be uh, connected with. Does it really? Can I buy? Can I buy a revolutionary ticket? I just go online and go to 140conf.com and buy a ticket, and now I'm at the revolution. I don't think so. I think people, more than anything else, have a chance to uh, be sociologists or real-time social webologists at the conferences because it might be that people are just coming to the event to observe, as if we're uh, in a zoo and where the cage is on the stage and. We are the characters and the animals coming out on stage and expressing ourselves to a group of people that otherwise have no clue what's going on in the world around them. Or maybe it's a park, and maybe everybody's there to play. I don't know. But, you know, having a seat at the revolution, hmm. Um, I don't think we're sitting down. So there's, there's no seats for sale. If you're sitting down, you're not engaged. And these days, if you're not with it, you're not with it. So let's just say that uh, if you come to the 140 conference, chances are you're trying to understand the effects of what the real-time web is doing. If you're into brands, let's face it, brand managers are having a field day these days. You know, People are discovering what it's like to represent a brand in real life. And actually, are, some people are going, when they go to a conference and they represent brand A, well, they get to feel what it's like to be brand A, which, which for 100 years has been some inanimate object, and now they're it. So they actually show feelings behind it and connect with people. And on the emotional side, I think it works really well. I think businesses are starting to understand that there are human beings behind most tweets. And if you market with love versus fear, you have a much better chance to get your message understood, to be appreciated, and actually be acted upon. Fear still works, but in the real-time social web, there's a level of authenticity and uh, acceptance uh, that requires you to uh, do things a certain way. Spammers need not apply. And yeah, while there are bots, I like to believe that we're connecting with real people and we can feel their pulse through the real-time web. So, a seat at the revolution. Hmm. I think the revolution's happening whether or not we're sitting down or not, whether or not we recognize it or not. And what's, ch- what's really happened is that if you're a business big enough to have a chief marketing officer, if you haven't already hired your chief listening officer and built your team, you're behind, the, you're behind the times. The world is moving around you. People are talking. If you're not listening, what are you doing? Um, you might want to come by a 140 conference and talk to some of the people in the, in the crowd. The cast of characters which you see on stage are mirrored by an amazing group of people, our characters in the audience. And between everyone, uh, there's knowledge to be shared, ideas to be uh, explored, and more than anything else, your voice and have a voice discover your voice and be revolutionary real time or otherwise i'm jeff pulver and uh i have to go find the seat at the revolution i gotta go